Hello heroes, Kelthar of the Heroes and Legends. And it's been a while since I did a little blog slash review like this. But, as many of you know, a little game came out last week. And I'm sure most of you have been playing it. Well, this is a quick little video with my thoughts on everything Legion so far. Now, if you've been following my channel since the beginning, you know that I'm a big Blizzard fan and I got into Legion Beta and I experienced most of the story that is currently available already. So a lot of the current live stuff I wasn't really replaying through. I didn't want to bore you guys with that. I decided I would just, you know, throw up videos here and there showing my exploits with friends, the laughs, the jokes, whatever. Well, I do have to say among all of the expansions that they have released, in including Vanilla World of Warcraft all the way from the very beginning that I've, I've been there for all of it, and this has by far been the absolute smoothest expansion to date. I was really shocked at how well it went off. Like, we did get our fair share of DDoS attacks, but that didn't even happen on the first day or two. At least I didn't experience them. I didn't have any problems until day three when it seemed like the little people that like to do the DDoSing decided, oh, okay, we've, they've had their, they let them have, let us have our fun, and then they just dropping them in on us. But this was a very smooth launch with nary a bug to be found. There was a few, but I didn't experience them. I think there was one in High Mountain or something like that. Um, but I didn't have to worry about that because I didn't start in High Mountain. Some friends and I wanted to start in Azuna, even though I had started in Azuna in Beta. But it was cool, so... I've had fun. I'm actually taking it a little bit slower. Um, I'm not, I mean, getting to 110, I'm going fast, but I'm not pushing it out as fast as I can. I do plan on getting some raids in when they unlock on the 20th with a couple of my guild if they let me in because I've been kind of gone for a while. But we'll see where that goes. I'm actually really excited for what's coming in 7.1 and the announcements I've heard. Um, the... Blizzard has really knocked it out of the park. So let's just quickly go over some of the things uh, that I think uh, stand out. Okay, so pristine launch. Like literally, I remember staying up, taking time off for the previous expansions. Warlord Adreno really comes to mind because it was the most recent before this one. And it was a nightmare. It's like I took time off of work for this to be here and not being able to play for large chunks of time because server stability, phasing issues. It seems like Blizzard really has gotten all of their tech together, working like a well-oiled machine, and it's fantastic. Um, the <laughs> un unlocked uh, cutscenes. Cutscenes that I was not able to experience on beta because they wanted to save something for live and they did it they did a great job every cutscene knocked it out of the park it was there were times where it was heart-wrenching to watch what we had to watch but then there were times where it was like you know fist pump moments both horde and alliance there was just really cool things uh things that give me give me pause like oh is this where they're going with the story i love where they're going with the story um We'll go into a little bit more of that a little bit later. Um, getting to actually finally play with everyone else and keep everything that I have uh, worked so hard for now. Because, you know, I thought personally that after playing in beta, I wouldn't want to level to 110 again. I was one of those people that never really had too many alts. When I did have an alt after my main character, it would happen months later. Well, this time, I really, really, really want to have as many alts as possible. I took advantage of the boost your character with the Legion invasions, and I boosted. I think out of the thir 12 possible characters, the uh, classes you can have, I have 9 at 100. And I only need 3 more, and, you know, I can actually get those up pretty well. Some of them, the ones that I'm missing, I actually have in the 70s. Um, so it shouldn't take too long. And if I really get lazy, I'll just buy a character boost. Not a big deal. Um, I'm actually, as I talk to you guys here, I'm sitting in queue because the game is popular once again. So servers, high population servers have queue times. So what else is there to talk about? Uh, the game just feels smoother. Uh, Demon Hunter feels more fun to play than I actually had 
on the beta, I just kind of feel like I know the class because I spent so much time with it on the beta. I got very intimate with it. Um, it's so much fun zipping around, you know, and doing the really cool things, uh, trying things I didn't try on the beta, changing my spec up a little bit from beta and trying a newer spec, watching my add-ons flow with my damage meters and just seeing, look at my numbers, they're going so high. It's, it's so good. Um, Blizzard, if I had to give you a score out of 10, I would say 6.5 out of... No, I'm not going to do that joke. No. 10 out of 10, Blizzard. Legion's first week <clears throat> has been amazing, and I look forward to more that's coming. Um, <clears throat> speaking of more that's coming, I'm sure some of you have seen on Wowhead and other places interviews that have been done talking about what's coming in 7.1. Um, someone like me who grew up with the game um, from the beginning, you know, when I had a lot more free time when it came out, when it, when Vanilla came out and Burning Crusade, it's a lot less time now having, you know, a full-time job, um, you know, um, looking forward to, you know, I'm, I'm getting married next year and there's a lot of things going on that kind of take away from gaming time and recording for you wonderful people. But coming up the blizzard has uh, made it so that they're really focusing on allowing people who can't raid to have an alternate means of progression the uh, five mans and the first one of those is karazhan's getting revamped as a large nine boss five man all the bosses from the original karazhan but tweaked slightly for legion you know because legion has taken over the the wonderful crazy place that is Karazhan and because they've taken it over we've got to go in there and get it back and there's gonna be a different entrance you go in and it's actually gonna be a raid or not a raid a dungeon with a weekly lockout so you can do it one time for the week kind of like a raid and the gear is gonna be higher item level than mythic dungeons um, which is awesome because that means you can be competitive with your raid team or if you're really hardcore you can do the dungeon and the raid and really just keep yourself geared or the raid then the dungeon you know whichever way you want to do it i'm super excited for what's coming um if i don't <clears throat> lock that position in as a as a regular on my on my uh old raid team i'll be able to at least do karazhan and still kind of feel cool and then maybe when it's less hardcore of a progression for the raid team and they feel like you know bringing someone else in or i've got the time i could jump in with my full fully geared Karazhan character and not feel like I'm a detriment to the team. Artifacts, artifacts, artifacts. Oh my goodness, I love, love, love everything about artifacts. They are, like, there's so many. The, the reason why I leveled up as many characters as possible is I want to see them all. I will definitely do more videos of the artifact quest lines. I did at least one of every class while beta was active. And I'm going to do everything else, the healing ones, the tanking ones, I'm going to do them all when I come upon them. Uh, I'm going to have, actually, the next one coming up will be the Warrior Prot Artifact one. It'll be coming up probably in a week or so. I uh, definitely look forward to that coming up. So, Blizzard, Legion's first week, major success. Keep it up. Show us more. I cannot wait. My queue is almost up. It's almost time to jump back in and take it to the legion i'm gonna be hitting 110 tonight so that's exciting i hopefully you guys enjoyed this and all the little legion excitement in the background here's a i was really uh i was i was doing a quest and here's a before i cut out on you guys here's a little little joke that i uh did uh you guys know the the uh i got skills guy well i did a funny little video i thought it was funny if you don't think it's funny it's fine whatever but Here's a little, little thing, and then uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. So please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Peace out. Who's got the skills? I've got the skills. What you gonna do about it? Yeah.